Exercise from Chapter 3, Basic Solid Modeling, Extrude Options. Hi, Joe Cerrone here, and we're going to go through the Exercise 3-2. And this is what our finished product is going to look like. To get started, we're going to select the new part, and OK. And then we are going to go and select a background color of plain white. And we're going to set up our document properties. to be ANSI, and our units will be inch, pound, and second, and we'll set the decimal precision to three decimal places, and we'll OK that. We'll enable the origin by selecting View, Origins, and then we'll start by drawing a line about four, it's about four by six, and so we'll start by going to the front plane, clicking on the front plane and selecting start a sketch, and then we'll go to a line, and we'll hover, and you'll see that we get this um, coincident relation, and we'll select that, and we'll drive that up about four. I'll turn the wheel on the mouse a little bit, and then we'll go and continue to create the other uh, sketch geometry and what we can do is we can click and drag and you'll notice that we get these constraints okay I see a, um, a, con a uh, concentric constraint and I'll select that and I'll pull that down coincident excuse me and we'll continue to create our geometry. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, coincident, vertical, horizontal. And you, you kind of, as we go get more experience with this software, we'll start to kind of look ahead at what the finished shape is supposed to look like because it does help if you keep some proportions and so I'll auto cursor this to there and then I'll bring that over green check mark zoom to fit turn the wheel down to adjust the magnification level the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at creating some geometric constraints and so what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding an equal geometric constraint by selecting relations, add relation, and we're going to click on the top of these features here, or these lines, and you'll notice that it populates in the selected entities, and then it gives us our options for what we can do with those four lines, and we're going to say equal, which means the size of each of them will be equal. I'm going to undo that. That seemed to do a little bit of funny stuff here. Oh, I got one too many. Shift, click to get rid of that one. And then equal. There we go. Green check mark. Okay, so that'll set the equal relation to the top of each of those. So when I set a dimension for one of them, the other three will have the same dimension or the same length. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a collinear relation to these bottom lines. And so we'll go to Add Relation, and we'll select these. And it seems to have some of my other lines in there, so I'm going to hit Escape and bail that. And then I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to say Add Relation. And I want to make sure that I don't have anything selected here. Now I have these three lines in my selected entity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say collinear, which means it'll all be at the same height from the x-axis. OK, uh, now that we have that uh, set, um, the book does talk a little bit uh, about geometric relations in some examples. And so, for example, if we wanted to create a coincident relation, I can come over. I'll just sketch over here on the side. 
and I'll hit the escape key here I'll do another line and what you'll notice is that we'll get the coincident marker and that line turned orange like that that's our coincident marker meaning that it's going to touch that line and there is a vertical relation there to erase them I can put a box around them and then hit the delete key if we want to look at another relation we can come over here and drag a horizontal line and then this is the midpoint and it it wakes up so to speak uh, the midpoint it'll turn orange like that and so that's another relation if we want to see those relations we can say view show relations or sketch relations and then we can see that that is a midpoint with that line and that is a horizontal relation. We can put a box around them and hit delete. Um, we can create a line and then if I click another line if I hold it and I come back to it and then I er, kind of bring that out I can create an arc and I'll grab the end of that I'll hold that, I'll bring it back, and then I'll come out. And I can kind of create the geometry on page 3-9. And we can see that I have tangent and tangent uh, relationships here as well. If I want to get rid of a relationship, I can right-click on it, and I can say delete. And now that doesn't have a tangent relation, I can kind of maneuver these things around a little bit. It's kind of cool. Um, I can put it back to a tangent relation if I go to add relation and then I select this and this and then I say tangent, it will fix it. And we'll delete that. So that's a little bit about some of the relations. There's a little bit more on page 3.9 of the, of, the, of the geometric relations example. and It might not be exactly page 3.9. I'm using a 2012 book, but I think you'll be able to find it if you look for it. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a horizontal dimension. And so I'm going to go to Smart Dimension. And I'm going to select the two vertical lines, as shown. And I'm going to make that a value of 0.5. Now, if you didn't set your document properties and you get two decimal places of accuracy, that's the reason why. It's because you didn't go into the document properties and set the units for three decimal places. All right, we're going to go and add a few more dimensions to this. And before I, I'm not going to work it from left to right. I'm going to put the longest one in because it'll scrunch it up otherwise. And so this is going to be 6.5. And then I'm going to work it so that this is 4.0 and 2.0. Okay, we're going to add the vertical dimensions now and so we're going to go and set up a uh, half an inch 0.5 and then we're going to work it from the right to the left 1.5 2.5 3.5 and 4.5 green check mark zoom to fit and you'll notice that the lines are all black and I'm going to just kind of clean up my dimensions a little bit
Okay, if I want to hide my relations, I can come back up here to my view and disable my sketch relations viewing. And like I said, you can see the lines are fully defined. Okay, fully defined meaning that everything is located. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, extrude this part by going to the Features tab and selecting Extrude Boss Base. And we're going to set that as blind. And our depth will be 6.0. And we're going to reverse it so it goes the other direction. Now you can grab this rocket here and you can kind of pull it and it will change the values here. And we can also go and type it in. And we can click on this reverse direction button and hit the green check mark. Zoom to fit. And what we're going to do is we're going to sketch on a planar face. And so when we hover, you'll notice that it's got this uh, face icon, planar surface icon. And so if we click on that, and then we say start a sketch, we can then sketch a circle on that surface. And then we can smart dimension it per the print, which would be a two inch diameter. And we'll locate that circle from this top line to the center. Bring that out to a height of 2.25. And from this line here to the center, 3.0. Green check mark. You'll notice that that sketch is fully defined. And what we'll do next is to go to Features. Extrude Boss. And the textbook goes through many different options for extruding. And it starts off with saying we can extrude it blind and we can grab this rocket and decide how far we want to take that. We can go and select um, Through All and it'll go to the end of the object. We can go and we can say Up to Next and it'll go to the next feature. We can say up to vertex and then we can define which vertex we want that to go to. Up to surface and we could define what surface we want that to go to. So there's a number of different options but we're going to use uh, through all and we'll say green check mark. Now that we have that part of the, uh, the drawing completed, the next thing that we're going to do is to um, add some fillets to it. And so I'm going to grab an isometric view. And in the Features toolbar, I'm going to select Fillet. And I'm going to set a radius of 0.125. and I'm going to select these edges here. Now if you don't see the preview, you're going to want to check over here on the side to make sure that you have free, full preview enabled. And then I'll select these different lines. And you can select right through it. It's pretty nice. And we'll set green check. Okay, uh, now we're going to save our, our drawing. We're going to save it as, file, save as. And the name of this part will be extrude options. And I'm going to add the number two since I've done this once. And that completes the chapter three exercise.